Hey guys, this is Bethium back with another video for Stellar Blade and it's going to be a pretty difficult boss, Raven. Now, you are gonna have to bring a fair bit of your own skill, but hey, I think I have a few tips that is going to make this considerably easier. And before I even think about asking you to click that like or subscribe button for me, please allow me a chance to earn that from you. And with that being said, let's get in on this. Okay, so the prep work first. We're gonna be using the protection type exospine that I didn't even upgrade fully yet it's going to be very helpful. Reflex type also, melee protection gear, shield enhancement gear, more shield and more melee protection. These things are really going to be giving you a fighting chance because you get to make more mistakes. When it comes to the skills, I decided to do something pretty drastic. Now you might not need to, but I myself did. Now I went for the shockwave. Shockwave is going to be pretty damn essential in this boss fight and you are going to see why. But I am still going to max out my triplet because for the first part of the boss fight it's going to be extremely useful. But then it's pretty much gonna get outshined by the shockwave. Now, to have any chance of being triumphant in this boss fight, you simply have to get the hang of perfect blocks and perfect parries, because this is what is going to be recharging your beta energy and also creating openings for you to use your attacks. Now, the usual combos, you won't be having a lot of time and, uh, you know, room to use these, so you know what? The normal attacks, even these red glow up attacks, you are gonna have to start blocking. At least maybe a third if not more, but at least make sure that you do not take more damage. Now, when it comes to Blink, sometimes she might use two in a row. When you see her do the first one, do not overcommit and always wait for the second Blink attack. When it comes to these jumping attacks that she does, always jump yourself. You have a double jump and you also have the dash in the air. So this is your go-to thing. Now, when she is doing this type of attack, I suggest that you just block out the first salvo and just take in that damage, but always jump for the second attack because there's always a follow-up. And if you're gonna be using Taki and her power, make sure that you have Raven at the very end of the whole arena and that you are, you know, on the opposite side with Raven between you and the edge of the whole arena because this way you can just keep spamming these attacks and she cannot move. You are always gonna be catching her with these absolutely amazing devastating attacks. Now, as you can see here, I was trying to use the triplet and in this part of the boss fight she is going to block and counter. This is why we have upgraded the shockwave. Shockwave is going to be simply amazing for this. Obviously, you should also be bringing a WB pump because it's going to be essential. Sometimes your concentration might just slip a little bit and you know what, that's going to be it. And this thing giving you a second chance, it's going to be pretty damn huge. Now, another thing here that you need to pay attention to is absolutely going to be the loop that you can catch her into. You use the shockwave, she gets up, you use the shock grenade to get her down again, lay down some hurt yet again, and if you have the beta energy, just rinse and repeat. And that, guys, should be enough to really help you be triumphant. You are gonna have to put a little bit of your own skill if you want to be triumphant here. Good luck guys, I know you can do this. Let me know in the comments were you triumphant or not and uh, I believe in you, I really do. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye guys.